Mark Gasol uh, signing a two-year deal with uh, the Lakers uh, last play for the Raptors. Mark Gasol isn't as good as he was a couple of years ago. Okay, by any stretch of imagination. But he gives the Lakers experience and a high uh, basketball IQ. Great passer, can knock down the open jumper also. Solid defense. Solid defense. And he could hit, listen, the jumper, 39% from the three last year. He could. Listen, he's not going to be asked to do as much, much, other than come out to set, come out the second union, probably sometimes even start, maybe. And, you know, in that second union, all he's going to have to do is contest the paint, average about nine to thirteen points a game efficiently, and use the IQ that he has. Sure that he's going to fit this role well, given all the weapons that the Lakers have. He lost a step and can't do that anymore. Doesn't mean, and he doesn't really need to do that with this Lakers team. Listen, he's getting older, but the skill is still there and it fits because the, with the Lakers teams, he won't be asked to do as much. Potentially, you know, you could see him be revamped, just how uh, Dwight was. And if you look at it, um, you know, Mark is uh, way more skilled than, than Dwight. That's for sure. Listen, thinking Gasol is washed up. Look what happened with Howard a year ago. Everyone thought that he was washed up. He redeemed himself last year. He's not going to be the go-to guy like he was in Memphis. You know, it's good signing. It's a win-win signing for the Lakers. I hope all is well. Look forward to speaking to you guys very, very soon.